Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna do a shifter rebuild kit. I got this from Moss Motors. Um, came with a uh, big shifter boot. It came with a bronze shifter bushing. Uh, I decided to get that instead of the plastic nylon one since they tend to break down pretty easy. Um, and then I also got the small shifter boot. Um, and lastly, just a bushing shifter kit. So literally overhauling this thing. Um, so we're gonna get started, but first let's take a look at everything you're gonna need in order to make this happen. Bottle to put your old fluid in. Some new uh, 8090 gear oil. You want a flathead screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, uh, vice grips, a pair of pliers, a knife, 10 millimeter socket, some grease, a hammer. Also, don't forget your uh, hose kit or your uh, grandma's turkey baster. First thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take off my shifter here. Okay, and next, I'm gonna take off these. You can use a little flat head, pop it out. It's just a fancy covering for it. Yep, Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, we got two screws, Phillips heads, inside of the center console here. Next we're going to put a flathead screwdriver right behind what was this window switch here. Careful not to crack it, I did mine just a little and just pry it up like so. Should be a harness here, yep. Okay, so we're going to disconnect this right here. Alright, next I'm going to take the ashtray out. This is going to be a Phillips screw, uh, Phillips head screwdriver down here. <laughs> it's gonna be a Phillips head screw down here. Alright, so this is kind of the tricky part, so we're gonna um, go ahead and pull this up here a little bit. And then grab both sides evenly. And kind of, it's gonna take some force, but we're gonna kind of pull it up. Ah, there we go. Now, let's kind of lift it straight up like this careful with the levers and it'll pull right out. Okay, so let's get a close look at this. So here's what we're dealing with here. Mine's completely torn here. Completely torn. Wow. All right, so 10 millimeter on these bolts. Oh, big L hole. This is what we're looking at right now. Okay. So we're going to take these three off next. Okay. These three are 10 millimeters as well. So I put it in first gear and then pulled it straight up and out. Um, as you can see, my bushings are pretty jacked up right here a little bit. Surprisingly, um, my shifter bushing, the nylon, is actually in okay condition. Um, it's a little cracked actually, but it's, yeah, it's cracked right there. Just to show you guys right here too, it looks like I'm pretty low on fluid. There's not a whole lot in here, so that could be part of uh, the problem as to why my shifting kind of sucks a little bit. So uh, we're going to fill that up and hopefully it'll kind of smooth things out some. Just so you can see, just so you can see here how filthy this is. I'm going to scrub this thing down a little bit. Alright, so this is um, having some difficulty coming off. I can't just pull it off by hand. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my flathead screwdriver behind it. like. So, and hit it a couple times with my hammer. 
pocket knife and just cut up around, cut this, cut this uh, whole rubber bushing off. So I've now disconnected it from the base here to this piece, from here to here. So now I'm just gonna cut straight down, like so. All right, this I'm gonna have to cut around the inside a little bit more. Uh, it's not gonna slide over this too well. There we go, got it off. But, and just slides off like so, and so do these. Also, just because I didn't mention before, these two prongs right here that are sticking out go into these. And mine were obviously filled with crud. I already kind of wiped them out some. I'm gonna keep wiping them out a little bit more. Um, but I'm gonna wipe those prongs down in here too and just kind of um, ensure a nice, fresh, clean, um, no gunked up surface for these to slide in when I'm shifting. Take these, put it around it. Like so get a really good tight grip. Bam. All right, so I'm gonna suck up what fluid is in here, which honestly, there just doesn't seem to be like very much like that at all. Yes, it's gonna be hard to even get anything out of it, but I can do the best I can. This is all the fluid I was able to get out. Nothing. There's like nothing in there, and it is absolutely disgusting. So, we're gonna take our shifter bushing kit first. This piece. It's got a little teeth here, teeth there, and a little spot there. We're gonna put this, made it on it, like so. And I'm gonna have to pull, I'm gonna have to pull this one a little bit here. Ah, there we go. Okay. So once we got it like that, gonna just drop it on there, like so. Bam. You can get some grease of your choice and grease this up here a little bit. All right, and the reason we're greasing it up is because it's really hard for this to slide on here, so. And you grease it up, it's gonna make it a whole lot easier. I might need to get two hands. Oh god, there we go. Woo! Oh yeah. There we are. Also gonna lube just a little bit of this up here. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna push these uh, dowels back and this black ring that you see around it underneath is going to come out and get replaced by this one right here and this goes underneath it so we'll take that out and put this one in all right just so you can see my setup here i use the uh the old shifter bushing here um, to go around the outside of the uh, dowel use a little piece of rubber just put on the inside of the dowel here um, just so I don't damage it. Um, I'm gonna tighten this thing down and continue to pull. I budged it some. It's really, really hard to get it out. Um, mine's, I guess, really stuck or something. So I'm gonna keep working at it and uh, I'll pop that out and we'll pick up in a second. Now I can get it and just drag it out like so. This has probably been the most difficult part about this rebuild is just um, take, pushing this dowel back. It was honestly extremely difficult. Uh, mine was a big pain, um, but I finally got it. So if yours looks fine, you can probably leave it in there. But since I have a new one, I, I've got to do it. Like I just, I can't not um, put the new stuff in there. So finally got it out. Now we can put the new one in. Okay, metal ring goes in first, followed by the plastic. There we go. 
<sighs> now I just got to push the dowel back in. Okay, so now we're going to put some of our uh, gear oil in here. And it's going to take a little less than half a quart. Um, you saw what I pulled out earlier. I pulled out maybe uh, I don't know, a few ounces. Next, we're going to take this. Um, since it kind of just sits here, it's not super secure. We don't want to drop it, lose it, it's sitting in a weird place. We're just going to go ahead and actually put it down there ourselves. Um, I'll show you the, my fluid level, what it's at too. So that's what I got mine to, just to the top there. And I'm going to go ahead and drop this. Oh, now it's stuck on my finger. Right in there. There we go. There it goes. Perfect. That's exactly where that's going to sit. And now we're going to go ahead and um, reattach this. Remember to watch your grooves. Those will align where the dowels are. Okay, so now we're going to reattach our uh, 10 milliliter bolts here. There we go, all tightened back down. Next, we'll put this big boy on, like so. Oh yeah. All right, so now that we got the insulation on there, Put the center console back on. Make sure our gas and trunk lever goes through the hole down there. It did. And let's just kind of snap us back in there. Bam. It is all done. I'm pretty upset I forgot to take up a before video of how much play I had um, previously with the old shifter bushings and the kit. Um, it was pretty sloppy. I mean, it would sit here and move from the end to end like this all day in gear. It would just move back and forth. And now, I mean, this thing does not move very much, like at all. It is very solid, very accurate. No sloppiness. It is wonderful. I love it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for more videos, more repairs, and if there's anything specific you want to see, leave in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.